listening to the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Welcome to the Sports Pharmacy Podcast. My name is Dr. H and I am your host. I am a wellness pharmacist, pharmacy owner, and certified sports nutritionist. Join me while we discuss a wide range of topics ranging from health and wellness, sports, and even some small business secrets. Feel free to join our Discord for more interactions with me and other fellow listeners. Now let's get into the show. Welcome, welcome, Sports Pharmacy fans. I have the distinct pleasure of having a new friend of mine who have been trying. I've been so excited about this recording, man, because one, it's a company I really love. Two, it's a subject that I'm very passionate about, especially in the pharmacy world. I have with me Michael Willoughby, president of GX Sciences. What's up, Michael? How are you, man? Oh, man, everything's good. It's so good to be on here. I've been excited to come on here as well. We're doing a lot of new things here at GX Sciences. I think I told you earlier, we are in the process of migrating to our official name of Fagron Genomics. We just moved into a new building, so a lot of cool stuff happening. Nice. It's a nice new building. It's still in Austin, right? The building is, uh, we've moved into, tri- tripled our space from the last time I talked to you, and Whoa. we've got it all moved in, new furniture, a lot of new lab equipment that's being poured into the facility. We're doing lots of investments into the genetics field. That's amazing. Yeah, like I mentioned before, we I recently had an episode with, with my friend Busalaki where we were able to talk about how to teach pharmacists to start the program of having some sort of pharmacogenomics to get started with. They have a, an academy to help teach pharmacists how to, how to get started on their, their own private business around this. And you and I spoke in the past and I told you one of my favorite tests that I like to use is the Nutrigen test. And just by promoting this podcast, I've already gotten at least 16 phone calls of people asking about this test. So I'm excited to teach them more about it and learn more about GX Sciences. So let's get into it, man. First off, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became into to becoming president of GX Sciences? Yeah, uh, thank you. Good question. I've been into routine testing business for my whole life. When I say routine, irregular CBCs, chemistries, things like that, through clinical pathology lab. We sold that company in teen and had to sit on the sidelines a little bit, but I always wanted to migrate into personalized medicine. And so I knew that genetics was going to be my next uh, rodeo, so, so to speak. I bumped into one of our a key opinion leader, Dr. Kendall Stewart, and it just went from there. We formed a partnership. We built GX Sciences in t- late 2017 and launched our first test March 2018. And it's just been a kind of a just a, a nice ride ever since and adding new and new more and more panels throughout the time but it's just been a passion to migrate away from traditional laboratory medicine into personalized medicine yeah one of my one of my big passions growing up even in undergrad was around genetics because it really it caters to both my mathematical side and my science side that's one thing i appreciate about it so you mentioned personalized medicine with gx sciences specifically how does the company contribute to advancements in personalized medicine? That's a loaded question right there, but yeah. <laughs> the, everything we do is centered around personalized medicine. And we feel like, although the company will advance into a precision diagnostic testing company, it all starts with the blueprint of genetics. And for example, we have Nutrigen, like you mentioned, but we have a really popular test right now called Trico tests, and it's for hair growth. And it it just couples genetics with pharmacogenomics and formulary prescriptions, and it has some great outcomes. So the advancement of personalized medicine and genetics is all about one person, the end of one, personalized medicine. Exactly. How do you see this benefiting patients and healthcare providers? I think it's going to ultimately help these providers get to the root cause of things earlier. There's a big wave of providers migrating into personalized medicine from routine standard healthcare. Unfortunately, a lot of the insurances uh, are, don't look at that as favorable as we all would like it to be, but it does help the provider get to the solutions of practicing with their patient quicker. So it improves the chances of positive outcomes so much more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And so I know you mentioned, obviously, cost is always going to be a challenge. What other challenges in the specifically in the pharmacy setting do you see implementing things like this? And how can you address these obstacles as well? There's a, a couple of full, twofold. I'd like to get a little bit more active, possibly in, in Congress and other lobbying entities. So healthcare uh, entities of Blue Cross, the Blue Shields, the, the Aetna's of the world, and the Cygnus of the world. So they'll see that personalized medicine uh, should be covered. And, and, and sometimes it might be covered, but traditionally it's not. But the outcomes of it all uh, are st certainly showing that there's a huge need. And so getting a little active and overcoming those barriers for healthcare coverages to be covering it would be one. Two, dealing with labs is, the providers gotta deal with credible labs that are CLIA approved and COLA approved. These kind of labs like ours, we run high efficiency labs trying to keep the cost more of a wholesale price in a way. Once those labs can get their processes lean, like we have to in the routine testing world, genetics becomes very affordable. And so partnering with companies like yourself and uh, national companies to streamline the diagnostics in the lab can help reduce that cost uh, as much as possible. But all of our testing, we try to make it extremely affordable for both the doctor and the patient. Yeah. And I just, I want to talk about my experience of of using this with you guys. And I want to add that I, I sent a test when things were getting shifty as far as where you guys were moving to. And it was a really fluid situation for you guys. So I, I gave you guys the benefit of the doubt. But even then, my expectations were exceed, exceeded. It was a quick awesome. cheek swab, submitted everything. The postage was in there. Everything was in there. Selected which test I wanted to do, which was at the time the nutrigen test, and sent out everything. I completely forgot about it, but not even three days later, I got an email saying, hey, your results are here. I was like, three-day results is incredible, man. I know we're in Texas where both of us, like, it got to you guys pretty quickly, but the turnaround time was remarkable, which I thought was one of my favorite things. And that was back in, I don't remember when I did the test. I think February or March. I think it was and, March. Yeah, it was March. And I changed my diet according to what the Nutrigen test did. And I saw a huge increase in my workout capabilities, my energy levels, even just simple things that I learned from that nutrition test has really helped me a lot. And I think that's one thing that I wanted to make sure our patients know that we can help people on a very little microscopic level that can help them in the long term, prevent disease, get them in a healthier, safer lives, basically. So that's that was one thing I did appreciate about GX Sciences. This has been my, like my third or fourth company that I have tried this with. And this one has been by far the smoothest that I've ever been with. I'm glad to hear that. I want to address the turnaround time. We have service standards here in the lab, and I guess this is a platform to be able to sometimes toot your own horn a little bit, but we come, I come from a <laughs> long, <it>, man. <laughs> long standing background of it. If we don't have good service, providers got to go find a different company that can provide that good service. Traditionally, genetics labs are two to three week turnaround times easy. We don't do that. We actually, the majority of our customers are, are functional med providers that need to have answers pretty quickly. If anything goes past five or six days, we're pulling the alarm bells and making sure everything is, is out there. And if we need to, to work on Saturdays or Sundays, we'll get that done as well. But going, going into your nutrigen journey, that's a, it's a great test for someone that really wants to optimize their health. We are coming out with our sports panel, and obviously that's a little bit why we're talking, but when you marry up the nutrigen test with the sports test, that's a great way for consumers to, to begin the optimization process without looking into disease states at that time. So I, I know you brought it up, and it was something I was excited about when we first talked about the sports test. So is that available now? No, it's, we're less than two weeks out though. We're less okay. than two weeks out. And the only thing that we've had to, to graphics on consumer testing, we need to have it more educational, but very fluid. So there's not so many questions that need to be asked. They can read their report. They can go through it and, and set themselves up on a exercise regimen based on genetics, health, a diet regimen based on genetics, all that kind of stuff. So we're just fine tuning it right now. Which, which tests are your favorite, Michael? 
Excuse me? Which tests are your favorite? That's a really loaded question. As a <laughs> businessman and scientist, we see the comprehensive Pro 7 impacting patients the most. So in, in terms of impact to patients, that's one of my favorites because some of these real experts in genetics, they migrate from a small panel to the Pro 7 that they're looking at the whole body at that time. But getting into it from day one, Nutrigen is very good because it starts with, everything starts with diet. If you address diet, some of those other things that you're concerned about go by the wayside. And then the popular test is our Trico test. It's by yep. far yep. the most ordered test and it goes well with the compound pharmacy to work with the provider, it helps those providers build a relationship with compound pharmacists. But in terms of favorite, my favorites are what's helping the patient the best, and that's the Pro 7. I love it, man. So let's say we have a pharmacy that wants to start on a pharmacogenomics program. What steps do you think would be the best for them to start, and how do, you, how do we teach them to do the right process with starting this? It's a, we want more and more pharmacists to start looking at themselves as being part of the, the answer to personalized medicine. So we actually have lots of training courses for each one of our tests in the platform. And the easiest way to start is open up an account and see what's most interest to them. What are their specialties? What are they highly interested in? And start those training courses. Help. They, they need to market themselves as att attacking the personalized medicine and, and using those training courses to become experts. We are building more and more training courses all the time, and they should be t taking a look, keep a lookout for invitations for inv our invites to come here and learn about the testing and how to use it within the APIs that they have available too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love those videos online, man. They, they really taught me a lot as far as even how to market these tests. I, I developed for Stonebriar Pharmacy specifically, I developed like a menu uh, where people can see the pricing, what tests they want to pick, if they want any add-ons. And that's been great for marketing to doctors because I just show them like, hey, this is what we offer. If you want an example of what a test looks like, I can always provide like a, a results panel so you can see what it looks like. Marketing is such an important piece. And with GX Sciences, they really help you with the, I know there's on there, there's downloadable brochures, there's, there's pricing menus, there's a lot of cool stuff on there. So I definitely want pharmacies to check that out because it's a good resource. Once, once they become in the ecosystem, they have everything at their fingertips to become experts in genetics therapies. And not everyone's going to be looking at methylation pathways. Not everyone's going to be looking at yeah. detox pathways, but they find their niche in what's mm -hmm. best for their pharmacy and the, in helping the patients within the, that come to their pharmacy. Yeah, absolutely. So what advice do you give to pharmacy students and aspiring pharmacists regarding the importance of staying informed about advancements in genetics and personalized medicine for their future careers? Yeah, that's a good question. To be honest with you, uh, I would tell you, these aspiring pharmacists to go back to their biochemistry books. No, nobody oh, likes gosh. that. When, it gives me anxiety likes, thinking about it. <laughs> nobody likes that, but it's so important to the personalized medicine is understanding those biochemistry pathways and what their impact to healthcare really is. I'll give you, for example, just the VDR tag and vitamin D receptors. I remember going through all those biochemistry books and go, man, why do I need to know this? But <laughs> I myself have a, a homozygous uh, a mutation there, and I had to take three times the amount of regular I use for vitamin D to just become into the normal range. And so going back to biochemistry is a really important thing to embrace the, the, the pharmacist that embrace that and combine it with patient care, I think will really, the light bulbs will go off. I, as we were speaking, I remembered I had this book next to me for those in the audio, it's a uh, pharmacogenes, the scientific background and clinical applications. Yep. This has helped me so much just learning, like you said, the chemistry that's involved in the back end of it, but also tells you really how to look at things from a more quanti quantitative state as well, not just, not just the results. So it's, that's definitely a book I recommend for anyone that's trying to learn more about pharmacogenetics. Yeah, the other thing I see that uh, a lot of pharmacists are doing that they didn't do 15 and 20 years ago is they're 
hiring nutritionists and they're hiring functional providers within the pharmacy itself in the certain, in, cer in certain states and having that relationship with both the provider and the patient getting together at the pharmacy is a new thing now that I think is going to be here to stay. One thing I don't, I'm not sure if you knew, but I'm actually a certified sports nutritionist myself. Yep. Yeah. Um, got, I got through the new, the, the national association of sports medicine was able to get certified after taking a test. So that, that, that makes perfect sense. It's just to have someone like hired close by that can help with every step that you need. Because obviously pharmacies were busy, right? We yep. have a million and one things going on. And, but, but like you mentioned, the, the core responsibility that we have as practitioners is always to take care of the patient and anything that we can do to do something preventative and proactive for their health is something that we need to always get behind. So man, I, I appreciate you mentioning this to me. I can't let you get away without talking a little bit of sports. Is that okay? That's okay. That's okay. I've got, I'm um, a big sports fan myself. All right. Perfect. So what, what sports would you like to discuss? I'll let you pick. I'll tell you football is football. Right around, okay. Right it around is. The it turn. is. Yeah. So co college or NFL? My son plays college football, so I'm a big college football fan. Oh. He's a quarterback, and he's in a senior year at a private Catholic school in New Hampshire. I'm really in – whole family's been growing up through football. That's amazing. Are you going to have some time to be able to go out there and see him? To be honest, my wife and I haven't missed a game since That's high awesome. School. Uh, That's amazing. We get on the plane at 30 on Saturday mornings and sometimes just screech in there to make the game. <laughs> but I tell you – in in relating certain sports to genetics, though, is it is an important thing to keep in mind. You got your APO genes and to looking at mm -hmm. certain kind of concussions and your inflammatory markers for growth and repair. Even at the sports level, we are actively introducing looking at genetics to optimize their own game. It's, mm -hmm. It all goes back to the blueprint of genetics for us. So your sports panel that you said is coming out in the next couple of weeks. What's going to be included on there? What, what could someone expect from results in that test? We, if you look at Nutrigen and you look at some of the, the food areas there, the sports is going to be more related to what type of exercise is going to be beneficial nice. for this uh, particular consumer or patient migrating with uh, diet as well. And so nice. if we need to have a, a different kind of keto diet, we'll have options there. If we have different kinds of high intensity workouts, we'll have options there if that's what it's going to be suggestion, suggesting. So it it is a what I would call get to know yourself type panel. We're not going to be making any medical claims on there that we really want those patients to go to the providers for medical claims. And we have suggestions. It looks we have suggestions. I thought I lost you for a second. No, you're good. Um, yeah, you're good. But I, I think if someone wants to understand a little bit more about themselves, both physically and internally, this is a great panel to, to start with. And it's okay. going to be very affordable. It's going to be in the price range. I don't know if we're allowed to talk pricing on this show. Are no, we go for it, man. It's cool. Yeah, yeah do it. I, I want I want everyone to have access to it. It's going to be around $129. And cool. Uh, yep. And in that's where I was going at earlier is if you have nutritionists and especially with your background at your pharmacy, patients will, will want to really take that test and then you'll engage with them in their journey. So we really want to make sure it's affordable for the consumer. That's amazing. Where do you see the future of, uh, of GX Sciences going? We are seriously establishing a lot more testing, but mainly from the real-time testing side as well finger stick testing from dry blood spot to for hormones and, and vitamin d vitamin b12 all, all kinds of different tests so we can drop ship that to the patient or to the provider just as easy so mm -hmm. looking at genetics you still really have to go with some real-time testing as follow-up you can't quite hear it but there's lots of construction going on in the lab <laughs> We've got mass spec technology that's being oh, wow. um, launched as we speak. And again, the importance is doing it under the CLIA guidance and guidelines to make sure we're giving our providers quality testing. People don't realize it, but whether it's a finger stick or whether it's a chemistry analyzer, all those test results have to correlate. And 
we do a really good job with our science behind it. Michael, dude, I appreciate this so much, man. I appreciate your time with everything. Any more lasting advice you have for pharmacists or pharmacy owners that want to implement this in their pharmacy? No, I think we covered it all. I do want to, I want to thank for Gron, to be honest with you, for showing, seeing the value of personalized testing. When they've been a raw materials company, they basically mm -hmm. said, hey, we need to really get into the diagnostic side to look deeper, to help those pharmacies see what kind of raw materials they really need to invest in. As a, a big lab commercial person myself, I really didn't see the pharmacy until Fagron really introduced it to me. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that the world is heading in the right direction with personalized medicine, pharmacy, and diagnostics combined. I have to give a shout out to my friend, Michael Robinson, for helping us put this together, man, for Gron, amazing account manager. So I have to give him a shout out with all this. Michael, I appreciate your time, man, with this. I would like to post your socials anywhere they can find you on LinkedIn. I'll share that in the, in the description. Awesome. I appreciate your time, man. You have a great day. Take care. Good to see you. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, consider giving us a five-star review anywhere that you get your episodes. Follow us at Sports Pharmacy Pod, as well as me, your host, at Dr. Mixalot. Join our Discord server for more interactions with me and fellow listeners. As always, stay well, stay hydrated, and I will catch you next time.